Okay, here's the number three machine. The analog digital pain in the butt. I had to hit the thing, I fixed the memory board on it. Put it in there, did some reconfiguring. Configuring. Trying that disk drive there, the Altair. Comes on and everything. Seems to try to work, but anyway, this thing. So I turn it on. And I get that. All the bus lines are high. All the data lines are high, all the front numbers, all the uh, indicators are on, no reset, won't do nothing. It's... eight nine of 2013. I had a time tracing this problem down. Watch some lights. That sucker. Look at that shit. Oops, sorry about that. See that? And it's not in the board. It's in the bus board. Or the bus, uh... It's in a terminal here. One of these ter It's in one of these terminals for this first one. The second one, that got damaged a long time ago. cleaned it. I cleaned this thing. Didn't make a bit of difference. Uh, come on. I've cleaned these things. Some light sandpaper. Doesn't make no difference so it must be in the uh, soldering or one of the uh, pins is bad or something. This one here got damaged a long time ago. I can make it contact but I don't trust the thing. So, that's something else we have to look for, uh, look out for. If these things stop working, both machines. Something went wrong, so I moved the boards over to this machine and it started doing it. So darn this thing. And it's still 810. Well, it's 810 now. It was 89. So, this is machine number two, and it's trying to load a disc in this old Altair machine. I got everything straightened out on this thing. I've got it all straightened out. Okay, I'll hit reset. Look at that sucker, huh? Reset, 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 look at that. Very reliable. See the, yeah, that's right. So, you have, I had to set this address to go to this prom. 
or whichever one it is. I had it said to go to that prom. Yeah, this is the prom board here. I had it said to go to uh, the E0 prom, and that carries the boot program in it, which is the uh, more than regular. This one does uh, X interpretation. So, it starts up right away. I also had a wire coming off. My 5 volt regulator on the uh, palm board. I had to fix that. So the bus, the wire, the 5 volts, and the starting address. What you have to do is go up 1K. Watch this son of a gun. Better to click on. It's got a bad disc in it. Oh, see? I got an interrupt. So, we do it again. The thing was on. So anyway, I found the disc. I've got this machine pretty much straightened out. I gotta do what I gotta do now is find a good disc. So that's the progress. And it's 8, 10, yeah, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm using their program. Uh, number three machine the disc came on they've got their prom data located at FF00 just did a dump and I found out where it was at I set the addresses back. I ain't gonna load that disc. That disc has been around too long. But there it is. She's a uh, old Altair. Eight inch drive. Trying to run. It is running. Still machine number two. I got these two blocked off so they're not used again. Yeah, bad bus causing all my misery. A bad wire. A wrong address. But anyway, anyway, that's the program they got in there. That's the 1K program. Watch this. Open it. Open it. Put the disc in there. Close it. Comes on and tries to load. I gotta take the top off. See which way to put that disc in. Okay, I got the top off of uh, this old Altair disc drive. The eye is to the left. Doesn't explain if it's hard sectored or soft sectored. Here's the eye. This may be a parchment. I don't know. I don't see a name on it. It may be underneath.
Here's this old Altair disc. I'm going to give this thing a try. The uh, MITS works. It just doesn't load anything. Either I've got bad discs or it's looking for something and it isn't finding it. Look at this camera. So. Okay, I got this sucker running. Check it out. Come on, baby. Started up. It just started. Look at that. DDoS here. There it is, baby. 56K DDoS here on the head sector. Look at that. Huh? Now, this is the one disc I've got. These things. I'm back in the 70s, 80s, 70s, and there you go, CPM version 2.2, how about that? I just had to catch this thing while it's still running. This is the old, uh, this is the Altair drive running. The problem was hmm. Oh, there we go. This is the Altair drive running. And the problem was it's not the disk drive board I had what's in it? I had my other palm board residing in there of this still machine number two this is their number machine number threes this has got the disk bootloader in there which I figured that's what it was that's all it could be little one uh, uh, 256 byte palm I'm using theirs I've got my 64k in it I'm using someone's disk drive board I can't remember which one it was and I'm using their address switches their sense switches which apparently is where mine was supposed to be set at Very important. It's like an address or something. Yeah, it goes up, down, down, up, down, 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 up. 
very important and the address for this prom they're uh, all all the switches are up at F -F 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 -F, which is very important so I was kind of doubting if their switches were set right but apparently they are I'm not using their uh, serial or their terminal port no that's mine I'm not using their terminal port this would be for the monitor the terminal I'm using my own uh, the serial parallel because it works this one shows a good uh, the lights are green it's, it has a go I don't know what the baud rate is or anything but I know that this one does work because I've got a screen so I'm going to leave that well, yeah, I've got my processor board. These two here are bad. Got the processor, got one, two, I got the four memory boards, the turnkey board. Look at this. Look at this camera. But yeah, I got the turnkey board, my uh, serial, or my terminal board. It's a serial board. I got the two disk drive boards, and I got mine this little thing very handy very handy board the way I knew something must have been wrong but I could take this head and unscrew it out and when I turned the machine on I had the door closed it would not retract and it took me I went through all my discs and this thing just sat there it wouldn't leave them so I was about to condemn this thing for the boards I didn't think it was the boards because both all boards did it this the head wouldn't retract most of the time sometimes rarely it would so I started condemning maybe this here had a problem somewhere. But once it's loaded, but yeah, that problem there was because my prom board, even though I had the proms addressed out, they were interfering somehow. They were getting in the way of the program. So I removed it. Took my last shot. Boom, it works. There you go. 56 k The BDOS error. And now I'm going to have to drag the Altair disc out and see if it works because it did the same thing. So we're making progress here. Baby started it. This thing just pushes on the side of a spring. That's all they've got there. This spring right here. It helps hold the uh or push the disc out. <laughs> this thing's about out of battery. Reset? Oh, you son of a gun, dude. Gotta turn, you gotta turn the gun. This even had a chance. These things have moved around so much along with these machines. 
Dumps him in a room full of magnets. And it's 8-10 of 2013.